to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone today I'm doing a little bit of a random kind of haul I've got Marks and Spencers here which came to about £45 so this is half than what I would usually spend but we do have quite a bit of food left um, from last week we did a big shop which I'll link above and also when I was away Ryan had got like loads of different things for himself when me and the kids was in England I'll put a vlog up above if you want to check that out um so I didn't need to get like tin stuff porridge we've got oat milks left I have been making my own nut milks as well I'll link one above if you want to check that out um so yeah so some of the items that I've been buying are a bit different than usual I've got loads of veggies and things but I've been buying a couple of these types of things which are low calorie um, so it's just in case um, if Ryan gets back late um, and say maybe he's a bit hungry he can snack on this and some other things which I'm going to talk through anyway so if you do like these types of videos then please give it, this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you do like these types of videos so I'll get into the haul now well, hi Mike, are you okay? Yeah, okay? But I have some things from the pound shop or Poundland and also from Holland and Barrett. But I'm going to start over on this side. So there's Count on Oz chicken and creamy mushroom. This is 300 calories with baby potatoes. I think these were like £3 each, something like that. And then I've got this chicken and vegetable chow mein. If you've been over to my channel, you'll know that I usually cook everything from scratch. I've got this Greek um, salad cheese and then we've got these Belgium white chocolate and lemon flapjacks some Sia Bertini um, bread it's kind of like sourdough and it's kind of like um, a cross between sourdough bread and Sia batter really really nice I definitely recommend it I got this cheese and onion deli filler because Micah absolutely loves them and then I've got this um, watercress washed and ready to eat pea shoot and garlic stir fry a mango and two large avocados I got this skinless breast um, fillets for Ryan and I think he's going to spice these up with this jerk paste I think I might I don't know whether I'm going to put that on um, on this plant kitchen this was reduced it's only a pound so I'm not going to be using it tonight so I'm going to put it in the freezer we've got three um, bell peppers and then um, some crumpets for the kids another um, thing for Ryan which is this steak lasagna British sweet jam lettuce and then this katsu curry J um, from just JJ channel and um, she told me about this katsu curry um, ketchup so I got this for Ryan and then I got three golden kiwis these were only 65p and then this fresh pickle and garlic I've talked about this before it's unpasteurized so um, it's like fermented vegetables and it's really good for like the gut this was reduced, I'm going to add this tonight, which is a pesto salad kit, um, that was only £1.20. And then I got loads of bananas, a bag of organic carrots, because we've been eating loads of carrot sticks and we're just going through them so quickly. And then I got this white sourdough bread from there as well. We like to go to a local bakery, if we can't get there... Um, then we will just get like a sourdough from um, the supermarket. So... Um, yeah, did I say sweet jam lettuce and then oh, a bag of potatoes as well? Um, so these are from the pound shop. So I've told I've talked about it before on other videos. Uh, our pound shop on the Isle of Man, everything's one pound twenty. It's not a pound. So these were one pound twenty, um, less than seventy five calories, um, high in fiber. I've been like minimizing the amount of sugar and things that I've been having but you know when you just some, want something a little bit sweet I thought these might be good and the kids can try them out as well I got these um soya flavor yogurts and then I got some light mayonnaise I bought this before um I've got a Holland and Barrett haul where I've got quite a few of these different sprouted breads I've got chocolate um like a raisin one it's 100% sprouted rye bread so you slice it it's really really like I don't want to say it's like a brick but it's not like spongy like regular bread but I do like to have this maybe with some tofu on or um chopped tomatoes cooked tomatoes and things like that or avocado um I've been trying my best to incorporate a little bit of avocado every day because I don't really like it that much but I don't mind it spread on like bread like this 
I got this from the pound shop because my sieve is really messed up and bits keep getting stuck in it. So I've been making some nut milks. Um, I'll link a video above if you want to check out a Brazil nut milk that I made. So this can help to, you know, just filter out the bits. And then I got some more of this honey. Um, this is raw. Um, and unpasteurised. Um, Ryan's been like making a concoction in the morning um, with honey and the kids, um, when I say like a concoction, he like has like lemon, warm water, turmeric, this and some, and apple cider vinegar or something like that. Um, so yeah, so I've got some more honey for him and also the kids like to have honey on the porridge in the morning. And then I got this jam, which is sugar free, no refined sugars. Um, and it looks really nice, black currant. So I thought that might be nice on some like toast. I got these from the pound shop, never had them before. They're made out of buckwheat and sourdough. So you get four in there. Um, so I thought these might be nice, um, like to have like the sandwiches. And then like I said, I've got that. And then I got this um, water bottle. It says that it's non-toxic plastic BPA. I wanted to get a glass one. Um, but they didn't have any, um, so that this is one litre. And then I got this, this isn't a food item, but it's a facial cleansing cognac sponge. Hydrating and nourishing, and apparently, it's got clay in it, it's com compostable. Um, I might do a review on this, if you'd be interested then please let me know, but um, yeah, so it's made out of a pure edible vegetable root, and it's supposed to be really good for like cleaning your face, so um, I got that from um, Holland and Barrett. And then lastly, this isn't from um, any of these stores. This is from a different store. Got this for Ryan because, like I was saying, on a night time, he's looking for, like, healthier type snacks. And we do make popcorn in the pan, but then you've got to use oil. So I got him this, at, like, only 30 calories a cup, it says. So he can put the popcorn kernels in and then make the popcorn. So... Um, I think there's some recipes there as well, including healthy popcorn recipes. So, if this is, if um, you'd like me to see, I can't get my words out. If you'd like me to do a review of this, um, then please let me know, and I will do, and then maybe even show you some of the recipes. Um, looks really nice, so doesn't it? So yeah, so oh, and I also got this as well. I did buy like a cup a while back um, for making lattes, which is quite big, um, but I thought that this size um would be nice and then i like what it says on there as well choose happy um and this was from the pound shop so this was one pound 20 as well so yeah it's a bit of a random haul i also got writing some biltong as well but he's eating it and that was only one pound 20 it's usually quite expensive um so yeah it's a bit of a random haul um but next week i'll probably be back to a bigger marks and spencers like full you know what I mean, like whole. Okay, so I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.